This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. We're doing another video review today, uh, this time looking at a universal app for both the iPhone and the iPad. And the app in question is called Space Arena, which is an old uh, Crystal Quest remake for the modern iPhone and iPad. If you're an old Mac user, you may remember the uh, classic game from there. But even if you don't, uh, this app does have a lot to offer. We're going to talk about the gameplay in just a second. So without any further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and slap this icon and get straight into things. Uh, and here's the nice little Star Trek splash screen. I'm always picky about splash screens, I don't know why, but I like that one. So here's the main screen, and uh, just to give a quick run through of some of the, uh, the extras here, and the options, you can turn the music off, which is something we're going to do now. Um, although the music is very, uh, it's actually been made specifically for this game, and the music is a, a very nice kind of techno mix, uh, which I found very attractive as far as the gameplay goes. But uh, we are going to turn it off so you can hear me better. Uh, we're kind of narcissistic like that. So, without any further ado, uh, well, sorry, one more thing. Uh, there are achievements here, and quite a few of them, actually. Um, these are not Game Center integrated is the problem. These are only in-app. Um, it'd be very nice to see these integrated with Game Center, um, especially since uh, these play a fairly large part in the replay value of this app. We'll talk about that more in just a second. But, uh, yeah, let's get straight into the gameplay. So we'll hit play, or actually, sorry, oh, I keep forgetting things. All right, another uh, very quick uh, thing that's worth mentioning is that there's excellent in-app documentation. It's actually kind of snarky for this uh, this app. It's been very well done as far as teaching you how to play the game, and it's very humorous as well, meaning uh, you actually feel inclined to read it. And uh, on top of that, if you have any questions, they're all answered here, and it's very explanatory as far as uh, you know these illustrations along the side here. And uh, there aren't too many questions left by the end of it. So, like I say, enjoy the game, Commander, so let's get straight into this. Uh, we're just going to hit play. So the objective here is you control a single spaceship, and you're charged with collecting all of these little crystals. It's kind of Pac-Man-ish in the, in the sense that once you've collected all of the crystals, you can move on to the next level. And of course, you're trying to avoid other things like these mines. I'm going to go ahead and slam into one just so you can see what that looks like. There you go. And uh, you're also trying to avoid these aliens that are around here. Uh, you can shoot them to get more points. Or you can also take out the mines as well uh, to earn achievements and, uh, yeah, more points. So the idea here is once you've collected all of the crystals, then you are allowed to leave via a portal, and you go on to the next level. You're also rewarded for finishing uh, before the par, and the par here is 20 seconds. Obviously, I did not get that. I'm not too great at this game, so uh, I haven't yet to actually uh, achieve a level in the par. But you are rewarded for doing these quickly. And on top of that, you're rewarded for uh, shooting more of the aliens, and uh, you, there are several power-ups as well that are involved. Uh, you saw I got a triple cannon earlier, and uh, there are also different aliens that appear as well to add a little bit of spice to the gameplay. However, it is worth mentioning that this game is, um, I would say, kind of stale, perhaps. Uh, this is a remake of a classic game, uh, that being uh, you know, uh, the uh, Crystal Quest for the Mac. So it feels kind of dated in the sense that uh, with games like Geometry Wars or Hyperlight that we've looked at and that are similar or possibly just evolutions of the same gameplay, um, these kind of classic style uh, level progression games are kind of starting to look a little dated in the sense that um, there's not too much incentive to keep going. The achievements do add a great deal of... Uh, of uh, you know incentive to keep going, but at the same time, this is basically the same level redone over and over, much like old games like Pac-Man. Um, if this is, if that's not a problem for you, if you're a big fan of classic style games, then hey, go for it. It's not bad at all. It's actually quite fun. But at the same time, with uh, lots of other games coming out with more improvements and innovations, it is kind of uh, you know it's a throwback for sure. But with that in mind, it's a very nice throwback. I did have a little bit of problem with the joystick at first. It took a while to get used to. Thankfully, there's a sensitivity setting in the options, which fixed it up right away. And uh, that's pretty much the only complaints I have with the game, other than, uh, say, the level progression is a bit slow. Um, new additions to the game are uh, not particularly paced very well. Um, it does feel a bit slow at times, but when new things are introduced, like new aliens or weapons, it is quite a lot of fun. You also do have the option to swap the control pads to the left if you're a, a southpaw. I'm always uh, looking for those kind of things. So, uh, essentially, let's go ahead and give you the uh, quick wrap-up here. We'll go back to the main menu. Uh, Space Arena it can be had for a dollar in the App Store, and for that price, you'll get both the iPad and the iPhone version. This is universal. So, if you're a big fan of the old, you know, uh, Crystal Quest game, then here it is, remade on the iPhone and the iPad, so it's a great value. 
Uh, and pretty much in general, it is it's still a great value, no matter how many complaints I have with it, because it's a dollar. I mean, you're not going to lose too much. You're not going to break the bank. And you're going to have a lot of fun playing it. The achievements were great. There are quite a few of them. And I'm always a big uh, achievement hound. So I like seeing that, although game center integration would still be nice. Similarly, you know, a little bit more incentive to keep playing would be nice as well. I think game center integration would, you know, go a long way towards that. As well as just, you know, changing the pacing a little bit. A little bit more Miss Pac-Man instead of Pac-Man, so to speak. So at the end of the day, Space Arena is a great game. It's a fantastic remake of an old game. And the only problem it really has is the fact that it seems, you know, kind of dated at times. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So at the end of the day, Space Arena earns a 4 out of 5 star rating from us here at the iPhone App Review. It has a lot to offer, and it's at a quality price, and it's very well made. There are no bugs here to, uh, to speak of. You won't be experiencing lag or anything like that. It has been baked well. So at the end of the day, Space Arena gets 4 out of 5 star rating and a healthy recommendation. This is a nice remake of a classic. So that's it for us here at the iPhoneAppReview.com. I've been Luke Patrick, and uh, you know I hope I continue to be Luke Patrick. And uh, yeah, we'll be throwing more video reviews at you later, so check out our YouTube channel for those, or go to the iPhoneAppReview.com for more of our written ones as well. So I just want to thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll check you later. Bye.